Good afternoon, everyone. It's coming up to half past six here in the UK on uh, Tuesday, the 15th of June. And the tide has turned on the American market this afternoon. Uh, and as you can see, the uh, Dow is off 130 points, NASDAQ uh, off uh, 94, and so far the S&P is off uh, 11 points. Not the end of the world on any of them. Uh, but that's caused the short-term trend in VectorVest to turn to down. Uh, the buy-sell ratio is well back from yesterday. So uh, the advice is not to be buying any shares at this time. That's very good advice indeed. If we have a look at the VectorVest uh, composite, there it is. As you can see, uh, it's the price has keeled over. It's hardly a train smash as yet after this big uh, move up that, that we've had. Uh, so uh, uh, I've in fact had to get out of some positions this afternoon based on that. I got stopped out of AIG uh, and uh, I was stopped out on the second part of the position at uh, entry. I made some money on the first and I closed the target position with a, a small profit. It was going nowhere. So I'm still uh, holding uh, a few positions. I've got uh, a trade running in apps which is still going and I've got a trade running in Disney which is still going and I've got a trade running in the GDX. We'll look at a gold in a moment. Uh, so uh, if we have a look at the S&P, as you can see, the S&P is still north of this resistance level and the low of the day is defined by that resistance level uh, and uh, still hanging in there. So uh, certainly uh, the market has not pulled back uh, by too much. So uh, it, we're still above the 21 day moving average on the SPX. That's a really, really good place to be. Uh, so uh, let's just be careful. Uh, it's been a very difficult period uh, uh, to make some money in markets over the last month or two. That's just the way it goes. This was really, really easy. And last year was really easy. But within this consolidation, uh, it hasn't been uh, uh, easy at all. Uh, so there's the gold market. The gold market, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, in my own mind that this is an impulsive move. And uh, what we've got now is a pull back within that move clearly this is a very important level and that's exactly where the market uh, bottomed out yesterday afternoon uh, and it's pulled back here in three waves an awful lot of money went into that yesterday afternoon at 1845 I'm afraid folks if that level doesn't hold then there's probably quite a big pullback uh, to occur here uh, and uh, uh, that uh, should uh, that'll give us a little bit of pain that's for sure in some gold stocks uh, uh, for now uh, don't consider buying any gold stocks uh, uh, if this particular level does hold then I shall speak about that uh, during the course uh, of the week uh, the big market that's moved really well today has been uh, oil is still uh, pushing very strongly and as you can see, there's the oil chart. That's the crude chart at $72. A huge amount of the market was caught short here uh, because this uh, was, in fact, uh, uh, judged by many analysts as a corrective move. In other words, this was the top and this was a, a corrective move and was going to fall again. And when the market broke through the 78% retracement of this range, uh, so many people had to cover and uh, it's now powering up, powering up and there's a, an old high on the chart up there at about $80. It looks to me as if it uh, wants to get there and get there quite quickly. Uh, so uh, in the UK, uh, oil stocks have done very well today. I say Tullow Oil's up another 8 or 9% today and uh, even uh, RDSB has moved up uh, quite considerably for two or three days in a row now. So oil stocks having their day in the sun. Uh, 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 and uh, as I say, I have uh, uh, done. Uh, haven't done anything in the UK. Uh, uh, pretty much everything's off a little bit today, but hardly not not uh, anywhere near their stop losses. Uh, so, uh, and if I, I look at the uh, shares that I'm holding at the moment uh, in the US. Uh, uh, apps, as I say, uh, and Disney uh, and the GDX. That's the only three positions that I've got. Uh, I, I'm reasonably happy with apps. It's well in the money. Uh, I, I, I'm considering a, a position in uh, uh, in Zoom, uh, which 
technically looks good to me, but I still haven't got uh, uh, into that. I was thinking of going into it today, but clearly the market is pulling back. Uh, so let's see what happens in the, the last session of today. Uh, nothing to worry about yet, but a day to stand aside uh, and uh, let the market make its mind up. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, thanks very much.